Welcome back to another video in our Typo3 Editor tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will take a closer look at page properties. Please note that we have already briefly covered the page properties in our How to Create and Edit a Page video. A link to that video is in the description below. In this video, we will go into detail about three of the most useful page properties. Let's start at the beginning. Each page has its own page properties. Here we are on our home page. To find the page properties button, look for the icon that looks like a pen on top of a page. You can find it here in the top left or by right clicking on the target page and selecting edit. The page properties are divided into tabs. Each page will typically have these 11 tabs. Some are more important than others. And in an effort to keep this tutorial succinct, we will only cover the general, the SEO and the access tabs. Let's begin with the general tab. At the top of the page, you have the option to change the page type. As a best practice, you should always select the right page type before you begin any work on that page. There are a bunch of useful page types. The most common one is the standard page. It is a simple page that you can add content elements to. This page type is represented by a blank page icon. Next, we have the shortcut page type. This is a useful page type if you are trying to link an existing page to the top menu. For example, take your home page. As your home page is likely the root page of your website, it will not appear in the top menu as a clickable option. To get it to appear in the top menu, you would create a shortcut page that links to the home page. Many pages will have this specific home page shortcut, if not more. The shortcut page is represented by a page with an arrow pointing right. Next is the external URL page. Using this page, you can create a menu option in the top menu that, when clicked, will redirect the user to an external page. This option may be useful if you are using an external booking system, for example. To set up an external URL, simply copy and paste the URL of the target page into the URL field found here. You can choose how this new page opens, either in the current tab or in a new tab. To set this up, go to the target field and type in one of the two options. To open in a new tab, type underscore blank. To open in the current tab, type underscore self. The external URL page type is represented by a chain icon. Below the page type menu, we have the page title. Here you can change the name of the page. Below that, you have the URL segment. This field is important because it shows the path to a page, including the slug. Before we continue, let me quickly explain what a slug is. A slug is the information in a URL that is after the domain name. To give you an example, the domain on this page is training.icit.com.au and the slug is anything after that. Let's continue. If you link another page to this page and then change the slug of this page, the other page will no longer be able to locate this page. Therefore, you need to take care when editing the slug and make sure that any links are up to date or that you have redirects in place. This is particularly important when replacing one page with another. A great feature is the recalculate slug button found here. If you click this button, Typo3 will automatically rename the slug to match the page title. Next to the recalculate slug button is the toggle manual slug button. If you toggle this feature on, you can manually edit the slug. This can be useful, for example, in situations where you want to have a slug that is shorter than the page title. You may want to shorten a slug so that it is more memorable. Moving on to the next tab, the SEO or search engine optimization tab. Here you can edit the page title and description as they appear in a web search. Well-optimized content will rank better in a search. This means that your website will have more traffic or people that visit your site. That is why your page title and description fields are important. 
we have a dedicated video covering the SEO tab coming soon, so make sure you're subscribed for that if you want to find out more. Moving on, the Access tab. Here you can enable and disable the page as well as enable or disable the page to be shown in menus on the front end. This is very useful when you want to work on a new page without letting front end users see you make these changes. By enabling the page, but disabling it in menus, your page is essentially live, but not accessible to anyone who doesn't have the correct URL. Once you have set up a page this way, you can send the URL to someone else and they can view the page on the front end without the need to log into the back end of Typo3. This makes viewing and reviewing the page for other parties much easier. If you disable the page using this toggle, it will be completely invisible on the front end. You will still have access to it on the back end. You can also enable or disable a page from the page tree by right clicking on the page and then clicking on enable or disable. In the access tab, you can also set an expiration date. You may want to do this if you have upcoming events that you want to automatically disappear from your site once the event is over. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. Please consider subscribing to stay up to date with our tutorials.